Weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Happy Thursday, Ohio Valley. I know everyone's thinking about that Memorial Day weekend. We only have two days to get through and then eventually it's smooth sailing, right? Or at least we think last weekend was just absolutely beautiful. We all wish for another copy and paste weekend like last weekend, but I don't think it's really necessarily adding up to that. So let's dive into it. Over the last three hours, we had some severe thunderstorms targeting parts of Hancock County. It was very north, uh, northern portions of our counties, but more so into the lake area and then into Morgantown, things started to fire back up. Western Pennsylvania dealt with the bulk of the action, but what happened? Well, it was a cold front, began to brew through, lost energy, and now becomes a stationary boundary. So that's why if you step outside, and I say that a cold front moved through, you would say, what, it definitely doesn't feel like that. It's hot and muggy outside. That's because it lost energy and parked here at the surface is warm, moist air. So we're on that warm side of the stationary boundary, and that means moving forward, we're gonna have off and on chances for those afternoon and evening thunderstorms. It's more so gonna be the afternoon towering cumulus building and then seeing that thunderstorm questionable between 4 and 8 p.m. whether that actually partakes in the thunderstorm. But here's how it looks across the region. Cold air parked to the north, warm air park down in the south and we're under that warm moist portion of the air mass so it's going to feel nice outside but it's also going to come with a bit of a catch that means every time we see a little bit of a disturbance roll through that's going to provide a chance to see some rainfall so as we head through the weekend off and on doses of areas of lower pressure that move through that's going to trigger some rainfall we'll at least squeeze out our friday sunshine for our friday right to close out the work week maybe have that party on friday but if not, we're going to be dealing with off and on showers in those afternoon thunderstorms. So just keep that in mind if you're heading to or from maybe planning to travel this weekend. If you're heading over to the Midwest or anywhere across the West uh, past Indiana, I would definitely check in on the weather. Some severe weather may partake and that might ruin your flight. So mid to upper 70s as we max out for our day today. It's going to be hot and humid throughout the day, but we're really not squeezing in that much room for temperatures increasing. We have that cold front push down, so that kind of limits the potential for us to just skyrocket in temperatures for our Thursday, but then check it out. Heading into the weekend, we gradually warm up. So we're not talking a huge spike in temperatures, but it definitely will feel muggy here at the surface. That's something we haven't had to deal with in full force just yet, but I really think as we step into this weekend, we're definitely going to be dealing with that. So the rest of your Thursday, cloud coverage south of I-70. That's also going to allow for some afternoon thunderstorms between the hours of 4 and 8 p.m. targeting parts of Barnesville, Moundsville, and Wheeling. After that, we'll head closer to midnight. Sunset's gone, so we're not going to have to deal with the thunderstorm action. We spend our Friday trying to clear out with sunshine across the board. So get out there and enjoy the sunshine on Friday. If not, we're going to head into that weekend dealing with those off and on scattered thunderstorms. Don't forget, Ogden Wellness Weekend is this weekend. If you want to do some workouts or just get outside and enjoy some sunshine, Memorial Day does look like a scattered thunderstorms type of day. We'll be right back.